Hello, welcome back to Family Quest. My name is History Wes, and we are down inside of the farm cube. We've got our vegetable farms up here, our two wool farms over here, and this is our new mine. And we have a minecart system, as you can see. Let me show you how it works. I'm actually using two different designs. The loading station here is from a Mumbo Jumbo tutorial. When the cart comes down, it automatically loads what's in here so we can mine and then drop our own materials in here and it will go in the box in the uh, minecart chest. And then up at the top of the stairs, we have the unloading station. It's from a tutorial by Avamance. And I used two different designs because I was having trouble at the top. It just was not unloading properly. So I tried several designs. It didn't work, including this one. But I finally raised it up one block. So there was some kind of uh, interaction between the unloading station and the line of hoppers that goes under the ground here over to here, which connects to the lines coming from the farms and goes down into the uh, warehouse. So when this is done loading, it will come up to the top and automatically unload. And here comes our mine cart. Popping right up here and it's at the unloading station and now everything that's in the minecart drops down through this hoppers into the system and into the warehouse. All right. Okay, down here in the uh, modern rail station, as I like to think of it, the minecart track station, we've started our map. It's looking pretty good. You can see the track going to Spawn Town and the track that will eventually reach the Woodland Mansion. You see our farm module where we just were in the end tower. Of course our station. And our second stop we went stop at Barbarian John's Villager Breeder, which is right at the top of this hill. We're fine so fast so we don't have any loading. There we are. This large building we still need to decorate on the outside. And eventually, we will have villagers inside each of these slots. And as you can see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six stories tall. So plenty of room for villagers. I like the four. doors in every direction. Alright. Now we'll just take a minecart the rest of the way into town. Got our lovely minecart system. We'll have to start calling it the FQRS, Family Quest Railroad Rail System, or FQRR. This is our area of floating dirt and trees. Obviously some unobtainium in them.
we can see the ocean down there. Passing through our natural arch, there's a large floating island up there. I eventually want to do something with. Through the Savannah Plateau, where we have some friendly sheep and a little bit of a lag there. There's the ocean. And down the low, long, high hill to the desert area. And we're coming into Spawn Town. Newly refurbished. Looking pretty good. And I'm shooting over here to the iron farm where we have some extra loose golems it looks like. We had two wandering around here. How many do we have now? Let's see. One, two, three. Four. Is that right? Yep. Four. So these lucky guys spawned outside of the breeder up here, or the spawn area. It's supposed to spawn up here in the water. Of course, they flow down into the lava. And we have quite a few more librarians than we did. Because I dropped some, dirt, some uh, food in here. All right, and here we are coming into the new rocket factory I just completed yesterday. We've been here before, but there wasn't a building. Inside is our sugarcane farm, and below that, our creeper farm. The sugarcane farm deposits its contents into these chests. I need AFK here overnight, it looks like. And the creeper farm deposits into these chests, which are plenty full. We need more paper. Maybe we will put that zero tick farm right in the middle. That would be cool to have a nice. Uh, factory sound coming out of there anyway. And finally, this is, holy mackerel. Look at these guys. These guys are clearly up to something. Endermen in the nether are supposed to be rare, but I've seen these three guys hanging out, plotting, in the nether. They're up to something. Which goes to show that this hallway needs to be carpeted. I'll have to get on that. All right, let's take a quick detour and see what Barbarian John is doing. You can just see the edge of his 
home base over there. Ah, the brick walls have all come down. It's looking interesting. Created an, an, an unintentional mob farm there. I need to get some horses and mules. Here's Daydreamer's home base. Let's see if this skeleton will shoot at me when I fly by. Nope. All right, well, that's going to be it on Family Quest for today. As I am feeling a little under the weather, we are going to keep this short. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you have any questions or thoughts, leave them in the comments. I'd be glad to hear from you. And as always, keep on Minecrafting.